Uh, so this question comes from Ashish T. Um, let's see here. I'm currently working in, MI, uh, in an MIS team and have no background in programming. I have learned some amount of Excel and access a VBA, surfing the net, and have also created a small database for a department in my organization, and they have found it quite useful. Very good. See, that's the type of thing you want to do if you're trying to be successful in life, is go out, learn something, and then build something for somebody. And just, just keep doing that. Iterate a thousand times and you'll be successful. Um, let's see. Uh, can you advise if I just stick with Access uh, Visual Basic for now and grow with that or knowledge of an other database system is required to get hired for a decent job in programming or database development management? Thanks in advance. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you think being able to program in Excel and Access is going to get you anywhere. Um... Yeah, no. Um, Access is just Microsoft's kind of weird little cheesy, um, you know, database for, for dummies app. I mean, that, that's really what, what Access is. Um, I'm not saying you can't get a job in life with Access. As soon as I say you can't get a job with Access, somebody's going to be like, well, I have a $200,000 a year job doing Access, right? So I'm not going to say you can't get a job doing Access. I just wouldn't want to bet anything on it, right? I mean, Access... And again, I, I don't I don't have an axe to grind with access is a, is a it's it's a pretty good little app. It does it does what it does. It's a little overcomplicated for my taste. Um, but but it's a good good little database app. You know, if you're at a company, uh, they purchased the license for Office Professional or whatever it is, and you have access available. Uh, by all means, build on access. There there's no there's no inherent problem with access. Access isn't a bad piece of software. Um, it's just not highly used. Right, you know, if I'm if I'm if I'm trying to gain a skill set in order so I can get hired somewhere else for more money, I'm not going to focus on access. Um, I have built access databases in the past, and I stopped. Um, if you really want to start learning how to build uh, databases, basically what I would argue is that you should uh, start learning uh, to build uh, web-based uh, database apps. So with web-based database apps, you're going to have to learn a couple of things. You're going to have to learn uh, the database system itself, right? Uh, so with Visual, uh, with, with Access and Visual Basic and all that, it's all kind of built into one package. Uh, when you go into the web world, it's, it's different things. So the first thing is you have your database. Uh, so generally, uh, the cheapest one to go with is MySQL, M-Y-S-Q-L. Uh, every single hosting provider uh, that you buy an account through will give you MySQL databases. These are just basic databases. They've been around forever. Uh, MySQL is used for the back end for Drupal. MySQL is used for the back end for WordPress. MySQL is used for the back end of Joomla. MySQL is used for the back end of just a whole bunch of stuff out there. Um, it is a very widely used uh, database, uh, both uh, for private and, and in corporate use. Uh, it's called a relational database. That is what I would suggest you start with. If you don't want to start with a relation, uh, MySQL or relational database, then you might look at NoSQL databases, N-O-S-Q-L databases. Um, so with NoSQL databases, we're looking at like Google's, uh, Google's database engine, um, MongoDB. There's a few services out there. The nice thing with most of the NoSQL options that are available are these are hosted by other people. So, uh, so like Google host the database for you. You don't actually have to, to build your own server or worry about your own server. So that's a nice thing. Um, the difference between MySQL and you know, SQL relational databases and NoSQL and non-relational databases, that's, that's, oh, there's a lot of, a lot of thought in there. Um, so thinking about this a little more, I would say probably start off with MySQL. Know that NoSQL exists, but start off with MySQL. That'll help you out. So that's the database. So the database is just, but what you have to understand, again, in, um, in uh, the web world, is that just stores the data. You don't get any other fancy stuff with it. That just stores the data. Then what you do is then you have a uh, language, a uh, programming language, that then connects to the database. So this is where you yeah, generally use either PHP or Ruby on Rails. So that is what inserts data into the database. That's what pulls data out of the database. That's, that is the programming language that actually interacts with the database. And then what you do is you essentially create HTML web pages uh, to create the forms and the reports, right? So I create an HTML 
page that allows me to enter information in the database. You know, first name, last name, phone number, submit. So I put in my first name, I put in my last name, I put in my phone number. This is all built in HTML. I hit submit. That data is then handed over to the PHP or Ruby on Rails script. That script figures out what to do with the data and then puts it into the database. Then on an HTML web page, let's say I want a report and I want to say um, I, I want all records for anybody whose last name starts with E. Right? And it would be a form. You hit submit. That information is sent to the, to the script, either PHP or Ruby on Rails or something else. That then goes to the database pulls that information and then it's all put out on that HTML thing, right? So that is what I would say you, you do. So you learn HTML, you learn PHP, I would argue PHP, I argue PHP, oh, everybody's gonna give me crap. I always say go with PHP and go with MySQL. So if you're trying to learn databases for the web world, this is something within about a month, uh, you should, like if you don't know anything about it, within a month you should be able to build some pretty cool stuff, um, and I think you'll be happy with it, and then you can go on from there. Uh, so MySQL is a database, PH, I would say PHP is the scripting language, and then HTML obviously creates the forms and the reports. Learn that and go from there. Once you've done that, because I know I'm going to get a lot of people screaming at me, once you've done that, once you understand how that works, the same architecture, the, the same process is true no matter what you use. It's, it's always going to be a database, it's always going to be kind of some kind of scripting language, and then it's always going to be a front end. So it may be, you know, Google's database with Python with a mobile app as a front end, right? But, but you'll figure it out. So that, that's what I'd say. Learn MySQL, PHP, HTML, learn how to, to build stuff with that, that's where you'll be good. Again, like I say, with access, nothing, nothing wrong intrinsically with access. I just can't imagine that's going to get you anywhere with your career, unless you found some place that really used it a lot, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, so yeah, that would be my thoughts.